The judges know it's too late to present a 2024 budget to a non-existent assembly. Robinson Ewo. Now to the news info. Honorable Robinson Ewo has criticized the timing of budget discussions for 2024, stating that it is already too late in the year to present a new budget to a House of Assembly that no longer exists. He emphasized that budget planning and implementation require time and should have been addressed earlier in the year. Elwa pointed out that both the judges and the public are aware of this reality, rendering any current efforts to push the 2024 budget pointless. He further argued that the Assembly, having abandoned its mandate, can no longer represent the people or play any meaningful role in the budget process. He said in an interview with Symphony, As for the budget, it is already too late. We are in October, and you cannot present a new budget to a House of Assembly that does not exist. Budget discussions and implementation take time, and they cannot start this late in the year. The 2024 budget should have been dealt with earlier. The judges know this. They are Nigerians too. So the noise about presenting the budget now is pointless. The assembly that abandoned its mandate cannot represent the people anymore. The judges know the truth, and so do we. We cannot push a 2024 budget at the end of 2024. The mandate is lost and the Assembly has no role left to play. Trish River State Palava is just too much. So many advisors, so many people having opinions. You do this, you don't do that. There are no members to, to, to tell your budget to. It's already too late. It's still October. I don't think it's too late to still bring out budget or anything. The issue in this, in this state is it's becoming too much. But Thurst Enebi says, stop coming to the public to display your ignorance about the law. You expect the judges to pass judgments based on your fault. Is there any excuse of the ignorance of the law? If you fault the law, you pay for it. Sundia Konde says, do be this man. He virtually knows next to nothing. Mirekube says, the reason of this fight in River State is because of too many wrong advisors and misleading supporters around the two parties, the governor and his boss. Supposing nobody is supporting them or praising any of them for any action being taken, by now the fight would have been over. Now this man comes with his talk as if he knows anything about the law. This fight issue, Seb, I don't, I don't really understand. Who is being adamant? Who is being stubborn? I know that BK is a very, very stubborn man, but Fubara too should, too should try to calm down because it is getting seriously out of hand. And if things continue to go like this, he will not be able to do anything in River State. And come 2027, they will say, oh, he didn't do anything. Even before 2027, they will say he's not doing anything as the governor and call for his impeachment and impeach him. They really need to find a way to resolve the issue between them. I don't know what, what, what has happened between them, but they really need to solve it, to bring progress to the state of, of Rivers. Because if not, nothing is going to happen. Imagine 2024 budget as at October, it has not been approved. So there is nothing that has been done for this year. Nothing. Francis Ebaye said, supporting one man that doesn't want River State's progress is the highest stupidity a full grown up adult will do. You have to stay one day and ask yourself this question. Why only one man will want to control the entire resources of River State? Does this community produce oil? Or how many oil is the entire tribe produced in River State that is fighting everybody with his last blood? Please don't be in support of such greedy set of people. Take it or leave it. God's plan must be fulfilled. I don't understand why people are supporting this man. You are causing atrocities. You are no longer the governor of the state, yet you want to control the state resources. You want everybody to, to, to answer to you. Meanwhile, you are already a minister in, in SCT. Why not face that job that you are doing in SCT and leave Ubara to do his work? They want to settle you guys. You say you don't want to settle. You want to fight by all means. What you want is what you want. Ah, it is well low. Ejimo Akechiko said, it appears the judges are from the moon. They are strangers on planet Earth. So the manner in which people on Earth do things is strange to them. In their eyes, 2024 is about starting. Please, someone should inform them that, that 2024 is almost gone and that we should be talking about 2025 budget. The person should inform them that 2024 budget has long been presented to the legitimate House of Assembly and that the money has been spent and spent very well. 
It's my Lazar says, are you the one that puts them on their seat or these people you are talking about did not steal with their certificate of return? Only if their certificate of return is not with them, then you can come out and say they have lost their seat. They have lost their seat now. It is in the constitution. One should defect to another party. You've defected. You, you automatically lost your seat. I don't understand why people are supporting rubbish in this country. Later, you say that eh, people are not obeying the law, people are not obeying the law. These people, are they obeying the constitution? The constitution says that one should defect to another party, even if your certificate of return is with you. Eh? You left. Why did you leave in the first place? Why? You are playing gimmicks. What kind of gimmick is that? You left your party to another party to go and do what? And then you want to come back to do what? To cause chaos, to cause problem. To come and hear what they want to discuss and then you take it back to that party again. What exactly is the problem of our people that are supporting this rubbish? Because I don't understand. Only the Kaukeke says, have they obeyed court on Nnam the Kano's case? Exactly. They have not. Because the court said they should release him. Yet they did not release him. Now they are, they, they are shouting for Barra, for Barra up and down. They should call on Wiki to, to obey the law, to, to tell his people that, that, that are defected to, to APC, to, to obey the constitution, to obey the law. Adeo Michelle says, the judges have done justice with the case before them. Those who does not know the difference between their left and right are condemning the judgment. They gave all being blindfolded with hatred. They are all from the same zone. Shola Aron Ibo says, medicine after death and crying while the head is off. The budget has been expended and ex exhausted. Presenting empty budgets before an inexistence and already exhausted here is crazy. Chukuma says, the judiciary that is supposed, judiciary I suppose, that is supposed to be the last hope of the oppressed is now the oppressor. Yes, so. They are now the oppressor, so. They are doing the bidding of 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 their of their payer of their taxpayer how do, how do I call it? And now he's building a house for them, so they are going to do his bidding. Everything he says stands. If he says rule in my favor, he will rule in my favor. If he says send this person to jail, they will send the, the person to jail because he's already doing something for them. He's paying them. They have been compromised. If somebody is doing something for you for their own selfish interest, you will not be able to speak the truth again. Because Wiki will not do anything for you free of charge. He will definitely want something in return. And the things that he wants in return is, is, to, is to make things go, go in his favor. Everything he says stands. I don't understand. Though this issue in River State, it really needs to be resolved. People need to call these people to order to resolve the issue between them so that River State can move forward and progress. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.